everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm doing my first favorites video which I'm super excited about it's my July favorites now I know that it's like the middle of August already and this is really late and favorites videos traditionally go up on like the first of the next month but I wanted to film something today and I've never done a favorite so I thought who cares I'm going against the grain and I'm just gonna film it in the middle of August <laughs> kind of a random bunch of things that I've got here. I've got some makeup favourites, lots of skincare favourites actually, a couple of foodie things and some other little bits and pieces, just things that I've noticed I've been using a lot this month or really liking this month, or well, last month, July. <laughs> so I'll just get straight into it and I hope you enjoy it. So first up I'll just start with the skincare. Um, recently, or at the end of May, I went away to Fiji for my brother's wedding and it was just spectacular. It was like a two week holiday and it was beautiful. I'd never been there before. Um, you can check out my Fiji vlog if you want to see what we got up to apart from the wedding. Um, but while I was there I had to purchase some pure Fiji products. So I came back with these two, just the miniature versions. Who's messaging me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I got the Coconut Hydrating Body Lotion. And I also got the coconut milk and honey body mist. Um, now I think personally I'd say that I like the body lotion better just because it's like a body butter but it's so silky smooth, really great hydration and it just smells amazing. And I'm kind of sad I got the smaller one because I'm wishing I got the bigger one. It's like really, really low already. <laughs> And buying it here in New Zealand is a lot more expensive than if you actually purchase it in Fiji. So once I get this, I think I'm going to need to fork out some money and buy the big one because I've just loved this. It's like the best coconut smelling body butter ever. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and this one, the body mist, I wasn't really sure what to do with this one at the beginning because like you just spray it on your skin. And then I was like, do I rub it in or do I just let it sit there and it's going to soak in? I wasn't really sure. But I think I've just kind of left it and it does actually soak into your skin really nicely. It smells delicious. I think you could even use this as like a body spray, as a perfume, as well as a mist. Oh, yeah. I really like this. I haven't used this one so much as the other one, but this one I think actually lasts a bit longer because you only need a few sprays. So if you love Pure Fiji, I think you'll love these. And if you haven't checked them out, I highly recommend it. Next up for skincare has been my facial skincare routine. Um, and I've just started using the brand called Only Good. Um, I'm sure lots of you have heard of this. It's a New Zealand brand. It's 100% natural, organic, palm-free, cruelty-free. What's not to love? It's honestly just like the best thing ever. And I'm super passionate about New Zealand made because if you know me, you'll know that I work in a New Zealand made um, retail store. So it's something that's really close to my heart. So to have um, New Zealand made skincare was just like the best find ever. And I'm so happy with these. So this is the cleanser. It's called the Awakening. Um, it's really, really nice. It actually kind of smells like marshmallows. If you like that kind of floral marshmallow smell, it's quite hard to explain. Um, but it's not a foaming cleanser. I'd say it's more of a like a cream cleanser. And I've been using this in the morning um, to wash my face with a flannel. And then every night to wash my makeup off. I use a makeup wipe first and follow up with washing my face. Even if I haven't really worn makeup that day, I still like to wash my face before I go to bed. Just to clear away any dirt or dust that's been on my skin and this has seriously improved my skin so much. I was having really bad problems, I think with kind of hormones as well, but this has really, really helped and it's not drying, it's just really cleared up my problem areas. And I think it's probably because it's organic. I've not used an organic, natural, non-chemical face wash before and I think those other ones have been quite harsh on my skin. So I'm loving this, it's so good. If you have problem skin, and sensitive skin and you want to find something that's not harmful um, made in New Zealand and it's natural definitely check out only good that super good only good <laughs> following up from using the face wash I've just started using actually the daytime moisturizer this kind of smells like marshmallows too I'm not sure why I wonder if it's the oh okay yeah so it's coconut oil rose hip 
and hyaluronic acid <laughs> probably butchering that name but it just has a really mild sweet smell it doesn't linger on your face once it soaks in it's just beautiful and it leaves your face feeling nice and smooth and hydrated i want to get on to the the night cream actually but i've been budgeting my money a bit so so far i only have the daytime moisturizer but i think once i get the nighttime one i'll have the perfect skincare routine Following along with New Zealand made goodies, I scored some amazing shampoo and conditioner. And if you're in New Zealand, you've probably heard of these too. This is the brand Esano. I think I'm saying that right. And I've got the Keratin Complex shampoo and conditioner. And I'm like, oh my god, this smells amazing. Every time I use it, I feel like I'm at the hairdressers. I think it's the, the smell of the keratin that they have in all their fancy shampoos and conditioners. But this one is just so much better because this is also organic, I believe. And this has just really made an improvement to my hair as well. I feel like my hair's um, become quite thicker recently. The colour is more vibrant, you know, especially the first day after washing it. And I'm just really happy, again, just not using chemicals on my hair. It's all just natural. And I think it's really showing in the quality of my hair right now. It just feels super healthy and it smells really nice. So, I mean, what's not to love about that either? <laughs> Next up, I've got some jewellery favourites. I'm wearing one right now. Um, and so the favourite about these that I'm loving is I'm getting into wearing dangly, like, long earrings. I've kind of not really been into it before. Just I've kind of thought they're more grown up or I just hadn't really found some that I liked. Um, but I've got two pairs that I've been wearing a lot this month. So the first one are these rose gold kind of like metal strips or pillars. Super simple. Um, I'll zoom in so you can see. So basically it has a really long bit that you put through your ear. <laughs> um, and then that hangs out the back and then you're left with the rose gold strip at the front which I really like and my hair sometimes just like most of the time I wear it down so it sits closer towards my face but I just like that as I'm moving around and as I'm talking you just get little glimpses of them hanging from my ears <laughs> but if I did um, tie my hair up you know they look really cool and quite striking and yeah I'm obsessed with rose gold at the moment so they were about $10 from Glassons I think so yeah awesome the next pair of earrings I've been wearing a lot are gold with tassels on them. And I feel like tassels are quite on trend at the moment, like the big tassels. I wasn't really so keen on those, so I've gone for these, which I got from Kilt. Um, and they are mini tassels in cream. Still kind of following the tassely trend, but just something a little bit different. I've not seen any other pairs like this. Um, yeah, and they're just a really nice size, like they're not super big hanging from my ear and they're really light i think that was the other thing about why i didn't really wear long earrings that much is because in the past ones that i've had have been heavy and like pulled on my earlobes and i found it really annoying but both of these are really light and just really simple so i've been wearing these a lot onto the makeup favorites now the first one is the lip color that i'm wearing right now it is a revlon color stay moisture stain it's kind of the same color as my shirt I actually bought this a couple of years ago and I've kind of loved it and not really loved it anymore and you know how you go on waves of liking things. I think with my job as well, um, I'm on my feet for a long time talking to customers and if I don't have a chance to go out and touch up my lipstick, you know, all the time, I think this is when something like this comes in really handy because it does stay on your lips for a long time and it doesn't go all patchy and look like it needs touching up. It's just a great long wearing lip stain and I'm really happy with this color. I'm really liking the darker colors for winter right now. I, I wasn't really like this last year. I'd say I'm, I think I'm becoming more confident in myself, especially with lip colors. Um, so I'm really happy with this. Yeah, super long lasting. If you want a good lip stain, check out Revlon. Next up, I have two products from NYX, which were actually a gift to me for my birthday from my friend Amy. She was so nice and got me these as a surprise. It was completely unexpected and I've been loving them. So thank you so much, Amy. The first one is the NYX Glam Liner Aqualux. What a name. <laughs> GLA07. I'm assuming that's the color. <laughs> um, but it's the eyeliner. It's one of the like dippy ones. Um, and it's just the perfect 
like light shimmery um, champagne color. It's so gorgeous. I love it. I've had so many compliments on this every time I've been wearing it as well. Um, so it looks like this. Um, so it's just perfect and it's great for just for me if I want to have like a quick um, eye look if I'm not going to do heaps of different eyeshadows and all these different crease and lid colours. I can just put this um, on as a liner and it really makes me look like I've done something special with my eyes and brightens them and it's just perfect. I love it. Yeah, I can't say enough about these. I'm keen to check out the other colours too but um, this light one is a good everyday or nighttime colour. The other thing she got me is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. Um, and this colour, I don't even know if this has got a colour too. Um, but it was the lighter, like, pinky one of the um, illuminators that they have. And this is just a really nice um, liquid highlighter. It reminds me a bit of the um, Benefit High Beam. But, like, a really good alternative. Maybe it's completely different, I don't know. I don't know much about highlighters. <laughs> so again, it's just the perfect shimmery shade, slightly pinky, slightly champagne. Um, I think just a good everyday highlighter. And I've been wearing this a lot as well, just along the top of my cheekbones and sometimes on my nose and on my cupid's bow. But yeah, I'm just really happy with these. So thank you so much, Amy. So now I've got a couple of foodie favorites. And this month, like over July, I've been really obsessed with cereal and cereal based things like yogurty, nutty, muesli flavoured things. <laughs> like, I don't, can't even explain that, I've got weird cravings. So, someone just knocked at the door, but I'm not answering it. I'm on a roll, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Um, so the cereal is actually by Vogels. I think this must be new. Or I know that New Zealand didn't have these two years ago before I moved to the UK. Um, but this is the cafe style light vanilla and almond cereal. Um, it's super good. It's like not crazy sugary. It just has a really nice vanilla flavour with different chunks of cereal pieces. Um, corn, rice, buckwheat, um, almonds, linseeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. And it's flavoured with um, golden syrup and brown sugar. Um, it's kind of a small box though, which is disappointing. Like, the bag inside is not that big. Um, and it wasn't the cheapest either. So, for me, if I wanted to have this every day, to make it last a bit longer and to also kind of cut down the sugar, I've been mixing a bowl of half just plain ordinary cornflakes and then half of this Vogel cereal. And I think that's a really nice combination and yeah, it cuts down the sugar a bit and makes it last a bit longer because I can't afford to be buying this like every couple of weeks or however often I need to use this. Um, but this is really yummy. I'm really happy with these. The next kind of foodie favourite, which is kind of like cereal, um, are these Roasted Nut Bars by Nice and Natural. This is the yogurt flavour. Yogurt. I'm not in England anymore. I shouldn't say yogurt yogurt <laughs> um, and these are really good again like a less sugary option than lots of the other muesli bars that are out there it's a really good just kind of good snack especially at work as well like I said if I'm just having a super quick break I can make um, a cup of tea or a coffee have one of these muesli bars and this is just going to keep me full and keep me going until I can have um, lunch or dinner later on you know they're just really good at sustaining me and giving me a bit of energy and oh I could eat them every day they're so yummy something completely different but I really wanted to mention because if you're like me and you're a book lover it's really nice to know what other people have been reading um so when I left England one of my good friends Kate she brought me a book um and I was so sad to leave her and she wrote me this beautiful card and I was sitting in the airport crying <laughs> I was so upset um and she got me this so I could read it on the plane journey home to New Zealand um but I've just basically read it since I've been home and I've loved it um it's called Billy and Me and it's by Giovanna Fletcher I've never read anything by her previously but I think she's really great I really like the style that she writes um how she writes. She's actually the wife of Tom Fletcher from the English kind of rock boy band called McFly, um, who I didn't really know because they weren't that famous in New Zealand, but I heard of them and heard of who she was. Um, and this was really different for me too because 
I don't usually read romance stories or like lovey-dovey things but this was really really cool I really enjoyed this it wasn't written in like a sissy romantic you know too over the top kind of way I think it might be like loosely based around her life but basically it's about a girl called Sophie May who lives in a small town um, in England and she happens to meet a famous actor from London and they start dating and she gets swept into this whirlwind of his famous life and people find out secrets from her past and they think that you know why is he dating her she's not anyone special blah 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 and it's just about their relationship and the problems that they go through and maybe Giovanna went through a similar thing when she started dating Tom Fletcher because he was from this famous boy band and she wasn't um, but I think in, in, a, in her own right. She also is an actress and a journalist, so all credit to her. I really love this book. She's written lots of other books too, I think, about Billy and Sophie, so I'm going to start reading those now. Um, this was one of those ones that you just couldn't put it down, and I loved it. So thank you so much, Kate. She, uh, she wrote a lovely message in the front. Oh, I won't read it, otherwise I'm going to cry again. <laughs> Last but not least, before I go, um, I am obsessed with phone cases. I have so many. Um, and I picked up two the other day from Dottie, which I really, really like. They um, are clear, but then they have patterns on them. Because I like still seeing my iPhone through my phone case, if you know what I mean. So then people can look at me and be like, oh, she's got an iPhone. <laughs> not, because this is an iPhone 5S. It's not even an iPhone 6. So I am behind the times. Um, but this is the one I have on my phone at the moment. It's Cactuses, which I really like. I'm sure lots of you have also seen that cactuses are quite trendy right now. Art, prints, and even you can buy those like fake cactuses in the little glass, like triangles and stuff. I'm obsessed with, a, a, I'm obsessed with those. I haven't bought one for myself yet, but <laughs> this phone case is the closest I can get to my cactus obsession right now. Um, and the other one I got is this one. On the tag said that this was Bambi but to me it looks more like a fox what do you guys think leave a comment down below if you think this is Bambi or if you think it's a fox either way I think it's super cute I really like it um, they're, they're a nice kind of thick rubber so they will protect your phone um, and I also have one of the glass like screen protectors on the front um, so I'm really happy with these check out Dotty if you're after some really cute phone cases because they've got quite a few options Okay, well I think that's it. I think I've gone through all of my favourites from July. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys have been loving from July or even this month because it's basically nearly the end of August anyway. Um, yeah, check out the brands that I've recommended, especially the Only Good and the Sano made in New Zealand. I just feel like we need to support New Zealand made and keep businesses in the country because it's so important and we're a small country so we want to keep that going, right? give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe because hopefully I'll have another favorites video up at the beginning of September for my August favorites if I'm on schedule but who knows how that'll go <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching everyone have a wonderful rest of July August oh my god Shannon oh a wonderful rest of August and I'll see you in my next video bye Time to make a thumbnail. Oh my god, I just ripped my duvet. Uh. That'll do right. <laughs> One of those is gonna work. <laughs>